The first thing I'm gonna do is remove, this is another guide, it helps hold the snow in as you're back dragging. This is UHMW, they are a carriage bolt. And if you'll notice, I have a really a short bolt, it's just coming through the nylock. The reason for that is when you tighten this, for the carriage bolt to pull into the UHMW, you cannot have the engagement of the nylock first or it'll spin. So there is a reason why these are just flush. I'm gonna go ahead and get a 916 socket. My handy little impact. Let's bend the nuts off. Now I'm gonna tap, these are slightly stuck in. I've got a big enough hammer for the operation here, so. There you go, so that part's removed. And here you can see they are actually a square hole and uh, there is reason for that. Uh, we don't have a hex head on the other side for clearance for our side flippers, so there you go. Okay, the reason for removing them, you wouldn't have to if you're gonna work on the auger, but you'll notice when I remove these bolts, this auger slides out easier. You can finesse it out of there without taking the guides off, but I like to just take them off. It makes it easier to accomplish the task. If it's necessary to put on new side guides because they're wore out, we do ship them with new fasteners. Um, there's a square hole and it is a carriage bolt, so you insert the bolt in the hole. And I usually take a hammer and tap them in so you insert the square properly into the square hole. And then insert it onto the side of the blower that, uh, where you had removed it. Put the 3 8 flange nylock nuts on. And then tighten them up. You'll notice now when I tighten them, the bolt will only be flush with the outside of the nut. And the reason for that is if you hit the nylock early like you should, the fastener might turn in the square hole. So there is a reason for that. This is proper for this application. The reason is if we engaged in the nylock earlier, so we exposed two or three threads beyond the nylock, the carriage bolt will spin in the UHMW plastic. So this is by design. And repeat on the other side, going through the same process. And with UHMW, you can over tighten them and just squash the plastic out. So just reasonable care. Like I said, the fastener should just be coming outside the nut.